Welcome to my effective how-to videos. I want to share with you my decades of experience on how to use in a simple and effective manner the head on a boat. I've made so many mistakes but now I have that down to a science and I am able to explain it in very simple terms. If you are like me sailing from one marina to another and you may have guessed you need to be able to communicate in a very simple manner. You saw that I, I am moving a sheet so we always leave that sheet of paper on the head and we explain a couple of things. One, definitely we use the head only for number one. No number twos, uh, because uh, it makes it harder on the system. And typically you can go to the, uh, to the bathroom of the marina to take care of that. Second thing which is very important is not to put anything beside number one uh, through the pipes and the pump. So, in, in our organization, uh, we have a bag where we put, we dispose the paper and other things that are not number one, and that's closed, and we change that bag uh, daily. Now, let's speak about the pump itself. So, to understand the pump, you need to understand how, what is the schematic, the way the head is working. As you can see here, we have the pump and we have a siphon system and the pump is going to push uh, the, the, the rinse water with the number one past the siphon. So let me show you uh, how it looks like. This is the anti-siphon system. Okay, so let me go back to the schematic. And, and it's kind of easy to understand how it's working. So, once you are done with your number one, you are going to pump five times uh, with the lever on the left position and basically this will bring water inside the bowl. So I do like that. I turn one, two, three, four, five. Now that I have water with my number one uh, in the bowl, I'm going to push the lever and I am going to pump 12 times. Why do I need to pump 12 times? It's because I need the water to go past completely uh, the water with your number one, past the anti-siphon valve. If you don't have all the water going past the anti-siphon valve, it's going to go back uh, into the bowl. And then you are going to wonder if something else is broken. And I will speak about that later. So, it's, it's a little bit similar to a roller coaster. So, when you are pumping the 12 times, it's like the, the royal cars of the roller coaster, it goes up and up and up and up. And I know that at 12, I have basically almost all the water that went past, that goes past the anti-siphon valve down into either the, the tank uh, discharge or if you are in open sea, that goes uh, outside of the hull. If you don't pump enough time, it would be like a roller coaster car, which is going 
up the ramp at the beginning, up the ramp, but doesn't go past the, the, the summit of the roller coaster and goes back uh, to the station, uh, which defeats the entire purpose. So 12 is what I have identified in my system. So it's easy. Now I'm going back here and then I pump one, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. By doing that, I can tell you the water is not going to come back. I have very clean uh, water line, septic lines, and I've stopped doing what I was doing in the past because water would uh, come back in the bowl and constantly I was wondering what was happening and I, was, I would change the joker valve, I would change the valve system, the gasket, etc, etc. Uh, and it was really just my fault. So, this page summarizes everything, especially if you have access to marinas. Only number one, no toilet paper in the bowl. Pump five times with the water and then 12 times pushing with the air uh, your uh, uh, number one uh, and uh, cleaning water uh, above the anti-siphon valve into the discharge tank. If you have any questions, please ask them through the comment section. I am very happy to help. Thank you very much, and I have many more how-to videos.